this video is to test to see if this Honda motor is worth trying to get working again to put on a new pressure washer base. First step is to see if it has compression. Then, if it does, I'll see if I can get it to fire up by pouring gas into the air intake. Gas tank was empty when I got it. The oil, I don't think you can legally call oil anymore, is pretty nasty smelling varnish. So if it does have compression and tries to fire, I will definitely be changing oil the as well. Here goes nothing. So it has compression. Now to see if it will fire with some gas through the air intake. This engine is good to try a carb rebuild on. I see no reason why I can't make this pressure washer run again. So pulled off the carburetor. Gonna check and see what kind of nasty is in the float bowl. Had some pretty nasty looking uh, juices. It's going to take a bit to get this off. When in doubt, hit it with a hammer. So, there is some really nasty. There it is. Yeah, that's pretty ugly. But, we can make it better. That needle valve is completely solid in its seat. Nothing a, uh, uh, I guess it is moving. A wee tiny bit. There it goes. Bath in the Sonic Cleaner should take care of the majority of that. It looks like I won't even have to get a kit for it. I like Honda engines. So the carburetor is nasty enough. I mean, seriously nasty. I'm going to throw it in without disassembling it because I will probably damage the pin holding the float in place. I'm just going to dunk the whole thing in there. Gaskets won't come off without tearing so I'm going to leave them for now. Worst case I have to buy some gaskets. For the cleaning solution I'm using some all-purpose degreaser. Five parts water, one part degreaser. This bowl's really nasty. One of the reasons I like Honda motors is car bowls have an optional drain plug so you don't have to pull the bowl off to drain it for storage. Uh, I'm going to throw the bolt into minus the paper washer. Set it for 480 seconds, set the temperature control on, it'll warm it up nicely, hopefully loosen up some stuff. This uh, carburetor really stinks. 
and as, as in it smells bad. All right, time to check and see what it looked like now. Significant amount of the really nasties off. Still plenty of really nasties. Yeah, sorry about the lighting. Whoever built this house wasn't uh, didn't care about light at the uh, stove. The pen just barely. Well, uh, I can push it with my finger now, so. I'll probably get that pulled out, get this disassembled, throw it in for another 480 seconds, then start scrubbing. Alright, after the second go around, it's still seriously nasty, but now it smells like a freshly opened can of tuna. Probably not a good thing to be sniffing. Float is completely cleaned off now. Entire lower half was covered in a thin layer of varnish uh, with hot water and a little bit of scrubbing came right off. Scraped a similar nasty substance off the uh, stem there on the bottom of the carburetor. Uh, this ground it's looking much better Got a couple other little bits and pieces thrown in. I uh, haven't yet pulled the jet out of the bottom. Uh, that was completely caked in with a really thick layer of the varnish. I'm gonna let this soak overnight and run it again probably a couple more times then get at it with my old toothbrush and see if I can get that jet out the bottom of it. Once that's done, I'll run it through again, spray it down with some brake cleaner, and it should be ready to reassemble and stick back on the engine. So, I'll post another video update once this is in serviceable condition.